So now mm -hmm. we understand when you're going to record the best way to record yourself. Right. We understand how to set up your own home studio. Right. Thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. We understand how important and what the process is when mixing your music. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the difference from mixing and mastering? Okay, I have so my record mixed. Right. I need to get it What's mastered. What's next, right? Why? Why do I All have right. to get it mastered? So mastering is, so basically, when I was telling you about mixing, mixing is control of all the elements. Mastering is control of that left and right that I, that I gave. When I'm done printing my mix, it's a stereo thing, right? right? And I'm handing it off to a mastering guy. A mastering guy's job, there's two different ways to look at it. From an album perspective, a mastering person's main job is to make the album flow. Right. One song's not louder than the other. One's, you know, it all, it all flows. But let's not talk about that for a second. Let's talk about your, one, your song, your, yeah, your record that song. you've recorded, yeah. right? So the mastering guy's job is to now clean up where the, where the mix might have screwed up, went a little left, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Too much bass, uh, kind of kind of thin, too tinny, too much top end. Yeah. The mastering guy will do that as a whole now. They don't do it, but they don't, they can't turn up a guitar, they can't turn up a kick drum. What a mastering guy can do is they just deal with frequencies. So what they'll do is now, one, make sure your song is just as loud as everything else out there, right. or louder if they right. can, you know what I mean? They, they, so mastering is, it, there's a lot more to it in the in you know the the back end technical of it, yeah. but the main thing when you the main thing that somebody from a lay person right yeah. that will hear a mix and then they'll hear a master if you could a b it the one thing that you'll hear when you when you don't understand what's going on the one thing you're going to hear is that the master is louder right period that's right. that's so when you they so maximize it they to maximize be it to it be as loud as it can without and, distorting exactly and right. how they do that is. Okay, you know, if a song's got too much bass, it can't, the ear doesn't perceive it as being loud. It could be the same volume on a meter, yeah. but it won't be as loud to the human ear because you're hearing more low end and your ear doesn't perceive that as, as volume. Right. So what you do is they'll, they'll, they'll tuck some of the bass, they'll, they'll tighten it up, they'll um, add a little more mid-range, a little more top. And, and that whole process of mastering, they don't have, like, again, it's important to know that they don't change the volumes of the sounds. Right. They're only dealing with... Picture you're back in your mom's car. You got treble and bass. Yep. That's it. That's what mastering guys got, but, right. a, but a different level. You know what right. I mean? But, but that's what they have. And so they, they only have that for the whole mix. They're going to make it loud. They're going to make it compete. They're going to make it be on the radio. They're going to make it across any format, um, iTunes, Spotify. Mm -hmm. They all have their different um, bandwidths that they, that they accept and that you right. need to make it thrive there. We so mastering pause. guys know that. So you can't just master your song and it's good for everywhere. There's different ways of mastering it for yeah. different outlets. See the thing is, you can master it and it'll go everywhere, right? And it'll sound fine. But you can there there are different algorithms that'll that that the mastering people know. For instance, there's a thing called mastered for iTunes, mm -hmm. um, and th they do things a certain way so that's optimized for that format. Right. So there's the and and there's a lot, a lot of these things. Even there's there's back to plugins mixing. If you're, or if you're mastering at home, you know, mastering guys use plugins too. Yeah. But if you're mastering, if you're doing this at home, there's different plugins that you could select. The out, um, Isotope is a great company. Yeah. They, they, there's some you could put on and, and you could learn about mastering from that. You know what I mean? Right. Um, it's not a set it and forget it thing. You got you to gotta play with it, manipulate it. But even those things have, you could, you could have your output set to an iTunes output or like a full bandwidth thing. Cause I, you know, there's different, there's different EQ structures for each of these things and that, and that makes it thrive in their system. And it's, it's based on download speeds and things like right. that. They need it to be a certain thing in order to sit right in there right. and their thing. So, the, you know, but it's not like if you don't do Master for iTunes, it's not going to sound good. Right. It's just that little percent more when it's, when it's for that. You know right. what I mean? Right. So now this whole process that you just walked us through, mm -hmm. from recording to mixing to mastering, which are all essential yeah. to having quality product for sure. to present to the world. Yeah. These are the things that every single artist that's winning big mm -hmm. follows this formula. Yeah, this is, this is the formula. Right. There's no, there's no skipping. There's, there's, you know, there, you know, you, you, a lot of the guys, you know, they, it's hard because you, an artist gets excited. They got their song done. I need it tomorrow. You know right. what I'm saying? It's right. like, well, right. Right. well, this guy's not available to mix it. This guy can't matter. They got it. There's 10 million other projects going on. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, so a lot of times, you know, they, they'll go with what's called a rough mix. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but it's still a mix. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not what they did in their, in their, when they first walked in the studio. Right. So mixing is essential mastering is essential and a great recording is essential if you don't have that right you really have nothing now what if i 
have my home studio at home. Mm -hmm. I now I put the mattresses up. I got a dead room. I'm yeah. recording. It's no reverb, nothing on yeah. my voice. I then I put a nice mix on it with my plugins yep. and the things that I have. But I don't really know how to master, and I can't afford somebody like okay. you. Okay. Yeah. What does somebody do in that case? Is there another alternative that they're is. finding there is. someone like you to yeah. mix their record? There, there's there's a couple things. There's there's um the isotope plugin that I was telling you about earlier. There's a mastering plugin. Okay. Um, but it is still kind of costly. But there is a, there's an automated service called Aria, A R I A. Yeah. It's an online mastering service, right? right? Now it's not going to cost you the five hundred thousand dollars that a mastering guy is going to cost you. Right. I think it costs you might eighteen dollars or something like that. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, it's bad to the bone. Yeah. Like I've actually had there's a like there's a choice mastering guy that I work with, an engineer that I choose. To, if you mix with me. This is who masters it. Right. He developed it. Right. So it's kind of like it's kind of like a robot him. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not him. It's a robot him. You know? Right. It's his experience of mixing these types of records, and, and he kind of made a template. It literally has robotic arms that that go up and adjust things. You know what I mean? It's like, right. it's, it's it's an automated system. Right. I've had that thing beat top name mastering engineers at other oh. mastering houses. Are you sure you want to say this on camera? I don't care. I mean, they know it. They all know it. <laughs> Do you want to run yourself out of business? No, nah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm just saying like, but that, no, but that's a great, there's, there's automated thing, this thing, Ari, that's automated. There's, there's the isotope plugin. They, like, see, mastering is not like, you know, it's this wizardly world, right? It's like the man behind the curtain, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like, it, it's all about any, you could learn to do it. Like, listen, I didn't have, I don't have a musical background. Right. I, I, I'm, I've touched more records than, than probably the majority of the people in the business. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. I don't have a musical background. Right. I taught myself how to do this. This is what I wanted to do. I learned it. I studied. Right. You know what I mean? I, I listened to the great records. I, I figured out how they did it. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. You could do that too. Same thing with mastering. If you can't afford to get the guy, if you can't afford the ARIA, the, you know, the automated one, yeah. you can figure out how to do it you, right. with, with your plugins. You know right. what I mean? Like, you know, there's a couple key ones. Like the isotope one I was telling you, that's a great way to start. You know, right. and, and they, they do a lease thing too. They do, you know, you could do it monthly or whatever. Yeah. Unfortunately, for a lot of people, the music business, like most business, you got to spend money to make money. Right. You don't have to spend millions. Right. But, you know, there's an investment there because yeah. there's tech, you yeah. know what I mean? And, and you want to compete. Right. So you, you need that. You know what I'm saying? You got to spend your money the right way That's on the, the thing. right things, yeah. like the things you just exactly. talked about. There's a million. Listen, I, 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 was, I was talking earlier to somebody. It's like, you know, oh, I'm on my microphone. You can tell I'm not used to this. Sorry. No, I was, I, was, I was saying earlier, I was talking to somebody earlier about how, like, you know, it, it's a little bit easier now for somebody to say they're an engineer because the technology's gotten so much better. Right, right. But you know what? Put them in the room with twenty million dollars worth of gear, every EQ, every microphone you ever heard of, mm -hmm. and I will smoke them with a laptop. Right. On the plane mm -hmm. with some headphones on. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's but it, it's it's about it's about your craft. It's about you learning it. You know, right. it's not about the equipment. Right. It's not that's that's what's important. It's it's about you taking the time, take being patient, and learning it. And, and, and watching it, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. And, and watching it grow and then listening to other things, comparing it. Not comparing it because it's better, but comparing it because that's what's winning. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Let me get close to that. All right. Well, no, I don't really like that about it. Yeah. Let me try this with it too. Mm -hmm. All right. That's my thing now. You know right, what I'm saying? Like right. it's a little, you know, there's a million different avenues. You know, there's right. no right and wrong. That's the thing. It's music, man. There's no right and wrong. Right. Te but, you know, tech. It's a feeling. It is. You're selling a feeling. And you are. You really are. Yeah. Tech, is, tech is more ones and zeros, black and white. Right. So there's that element of it, and that's where you got to spend your money on. Right. But at the end of the day, as long as as long as you're not distorted, you can hear everything. It's jamming. And it feels okay. good to you. Yeah, you're okay. And it, it's comparable exactly. to what's already out there you, working. Yeah, exactly. Right. You're not you're not gonna do, you're not gonna do it overnight. Mm -hmm. the, that's the most important thing I always tell people. Like like a lot of people that want to do this, they want it to happen now. You know, I got my computer. I got my microphone. Yeah. I got all the plugins that they talked about. Right. What now? Yeah. Now it's time to study and learn and be great. Right. And you can. I did. Be great. Be great. Right. That's it. And now you can be great. Now that you learned from the man Boom. on how to be great <laughs> on recording, mixing, and mastering your own music. <laughs> If you don't know how to do it now, I don't know what else to tell you, That's right, it, man. Hey, listen, I don't know what else either, man, but you know, you're in there, so keep going. All right, get familiar, guys.